Hi y'all, it's Rogers Healy, and I'm trying to feel very stoic here in my stool uh, with my legs crossed. Very, uh, very Franklin or Teddy Roosevelt fireside chats. Anyway, today we're going to talk to you about buying a property in a seller's market. It's crazy right now. People in cities like Dallas and Phoenix and all over Florida, the Carolinas, maybe even in Vegas and in Utah, there are multiple offers on just about every single property in any price point. I read yesterday that in the city of Phoenix alone, there's only 50 single family homes on the market that have a pool, which means there's probably 2000 people in line to get those places. So here is the quick and dirty. Here is some real estate advice from your pal Rogers, whatever we're going to call it, it's the Healy Hustle, the Healy Help. But just the, the real talk with Rogers is this, put yourself in the seller's shoes. It's very simple. Being, uh, being an empathetic buyer is going to change the way that your deal looks, even if it's not the highest price, even if it's financed against something that's cash. Make it simple and realize that in some states like Texas, you have an option period where a seller is going to go see that and be like, this buyer has the option to terminate. Make your option period shorter, right? And stuff that's going to be refundable to you if you don't purchase the property, make that a high number. Come in really, really strong and think with your heart as if you were the seller because it's hard selling a property. It's emotional. You don't have a guarantee until it's done. And sometimes the seller also might want something like a free lease back just in case something gets delayed or if it doesn't close. You don't want to be the person that calls the day up and be like, oh my gosh, my buyer actually can't close. And then the other realtor says, oh my gosh, my seller moved out. That's a gut punch and a heart pull. So think like a seller, be empathetic, and keep it very, very simple and clean. And no, no matter what, remember the biggest rule of real estate is over communication. Talk to the realtor, ask them questions, find out what you can do to help and never assume. So congrats to all y'all that are out there doing deals. Congrats in advance for all y'all that are about to do your first deals. And remember, it's just real estate, all right? Have some fun with it and don't let it get to you. Until next time, thanks for watching.